Hi. Okay, so it says it is project time. So today I want to talk about uh, building a Arduino timer, which in this timer we can set, uh, of course, the time in a very simple way that uh, I just invented. The time will be uh, to move a potentiometer. Now the time can be one second to one hundred second or one minute to one hundred minute. This can be settable by a jumper on the board that I will show and also we can set the function if we want that after the period of time that we set our instrument will be on or if we want the other way that after a period of time it will be off. This can be set in the code, I will show it in the code. Now, uh, in order to do this, uh, I've done the following. So, I did connect a potentiometer, which is connected between a uh, ground and VCC, and the middle pin is going into analog FS. Also, I've set a uh, pin number uh, 2 and 3 as a digital input, which will set if we want to use the seconds or the minutes. And another pin will be to start. The start is by connecting this pin uh, number 4, digital pin, to ground. When it is connected to ground, it will start the timer. And the uh, uh, last thing that we can set is, as I said, if uh, the LED or the instrument will be on after the period of time or will be off. So basically this is a simple program. Uh, I've written it and I will share my code, uh, let's say maybe tomorrow. And... Uh, uh, let's see uh, how it is working. Okay, so let's go over the program. What I'm doing here first, I'm defining pin analog number zero to be the input from the potentiometer. This is going usually to the middle pin of the potentiometer. As I said, the other two pins are going one to five volt and the other to GND. By this, when we are changing the potentiometer, the voltage to this pin number zero will be changed according to uh, our movement. Also, I'm defining pin number two and number three to be the input pins that are choosing if we are talking about seconds or minutes. By the way, if they are both connected to ground, so the choosing will be for minutes and not for seconds. If they are both not connected, so we will get uh, a message on the screen that uh, no pin was chosen. Later, I'm defining the pin number for digital to be the starting of the timer. If we connect this pin to ground, the timer will start. Also, defining pin number 13, which is onboard LED, this is in order during the timer run to see that the LED is blinking, so we will know that it is running OK. Also defining timer out pin, which is the LED that I am connecting, or you can connect relay or anything you wish, which can run on this digital 5 volt out. The function, if it is a zero, so after the period of time, the LED will be light. If we are choosing here number one, so the LED will be light and after the period of time it will be turned off. Okay. Here I'm defining the input, the outputs and the serial port, serial uh, to USB into in the computer in order to see messages out on the serial port. Okay. So here uh, I'm checking uh, the start situation if if at the start uh, the instrument should be on or off by the decision of the function pin. In the loop, what I'm doing, I'm reading the analog 
input which is the middle of the potentiometer and then I'm doing a, a remap okay what is the remap the remap actually is a change in the analog input which is 0 to 1024 of the ADC in the Arduino to the number of the seconds or minutes that I wish to work with which I said which we are choosing 0 to 100 seconds or minutes after this I can see it uh, on the serial port the chosen one if it is minutes or seconds if nothing was chosen so it is written nothing was chosen and then we are checking if the uh, start pin of the uh, pin number uh, 4 was pressed this is in order to start the timer if we are starting the timer we are going to this function which is checking if option 1 is which means we will uh, uh, the timer will be run in seconds and if it is option 2 the timer will run in minutes this is all and uh, I will share my code maybe tomorrow Thank you. Okay, now let's see how it is working. I'm going to Tools, Serial Monitors, and now it is set to minutes. If I will change instead of pin number 3 to ground to pin number 2, it will move to seconds. Now, if I'm changing the potentiometer, I can set the time between 99 seconds. Or 100 to 0. It is reaching 99 because uh, the potentiometer is not very good. Okay, so now let's say I've set a number in seconds. Let's do a number. Okay, 15. And then I'm taking pin number 4 to ground and it will start running. So it is giving me a message timer started. Now it will count to 15. Now because the function is 0, the LED is off and when it reach 15, the LED will be turned on. Timer finished and I see the LED is on. Also, you can run it of course without a computer. You can set it once to see the numbers and then run it. Let's see how it goes on minutes. Ok, so I will set now the setting pin to minutes. Ok, let's move to another number, lower one. Ok, just a second. Oh, now the potentiometer is moving. Ok, so now we are 7 minutes. I will start to run it. And now we can see on the display the minutes and the seconds. So the minutes will start at 0. When it will uh, the seconds will reach 60 the minutes will be uh, up by 1 uh, now you can use it I will put my code maybe tomorrow thank you